The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, eighth chapter, text number forty four, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October twenty fourth, nineteen seventy four, in Mayapur, India. Translation Sutta Goswami said, The Lord, thus hearing the prayers of Kunti Devi, composed in choice words for his glorification, mildly smiled. That smile was as, as enchanting as his mystic power. Hmm. So, whatever Kunti said that was accepted by Krishna, so he remained silent and simply smiled that a devotee is glorifying the Lord in chosen words. Uh, here it is said, uh, Kalapadai, when God is to be worshipped, uh, He is to be offered the best selected word. Uh, not that like the atheist fools. They worship or rather insult eh? that uh, very worried, gives us very much pain when God is called Daridrana. Eh? Why? Why Narayan should be Daridra? That means no conception of Narayan. Therefore, they add these insulting words. But that is not the way of worship. Uh, Uttama Sloka, Krishna or God's another name is Uttama Sloka, who is worshipped by the best selected words. Uttama Sloka Gunanu Varnanam. Uh, Jad Uttama Sloka Gunanu Varnanam. Idang Pungsas Tapasa Sutas Sava, Sisters Sutas Chabuddha Dattayo, Obichito Artha Kovibi Nirupita, Jad Uttama Sloka Gunanu Varnana. This is the injunction of the Shastra. Idang Pungsang Tapasa Sutas Sava. In the material world, everyone at least the higher class, higher section of the society, they are engaged in so many research work that is called tavasha. How to find out the best thing for the human, benefit of the human society, scientific research, that is also tapasya. Uh, when a scientist invents something, that is, result of tapasya, it is not very easily obtained. Therefore, tapasya, so many people are engaged in tapasya. Idangi pungsas tapasya sutas. So many people are engaged in education. Sutasya, sutasya means of education. The Vedic process of getting Education is by hearing. Therefore, it is called Sruti. Uh, the Vedas are called Sruti. Uh, formerly, just like we are reading books, the books were not needed because the memory was so sharp. Simply by hearing from the teacher, they will remember. Uh, that is, uh, that is called tradition by hearing. Uh, therefore, education means sruti. Uh, 
श्रुति भी प्रतिपन्न एनी थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रूव देन यू हैव टू गिव एविडेंस फ्रॉम दिस श्रुति देन इट इज so anyone who is being educated anyone who is engaged in research work for the benefit of the whole human society idang hipang sas tapasas sutas sava chabuddha dattayo or somebody is giving in charity opening hospital school or other good good purposes chabuddha eh? dattayo so why they are doing that what is the purpose hmm? the purpose is avichita artha avichita means infallible and artha means purpose avichita artha kabhi bhi nirupita it is a certain the purpose why one should be engaged in this arts work why one should be uh, engaged getting good education why one should uh, perform uh, charity or why one should be intelligent this is higher class activities so what is the purpose the purpose it is said kobi bhi nirupita uh, by high class scholars they have a certain What is the जब उत्तम श्लोक गुणानुवर्णन गॉड इज टू बी वर्स इट सिंपली बाय ग्लोरिफाइंग हिम बाय द बेस्ट वर्ड्स उत्तम श्लोक नॉट दैट माय डियर गॉड यू हैव नो आईज यू हैव नो लेग यू हैव नो हैंड यू हैव नो माउथ वट इज दिस it is the indirect way of insulting god if one man has no eyes then what is called is called blind so if one man has no legs he is called lame ha huh? so similarly if we worship god that you are blind you are lame you are ma'am headless you are brainless what is this worship Uh, similarly this kind of words say daridra narayana narayan is daridra is just like that uh, no here kunti says that kalapadai kalapadai my chosen words just like if you worship some superior uh when you give food stuff to your spiritual master superior you find out the best selected food stuff not that anything worst we eat it if you don't like don't eat it don't mind no this is the way of worship when you worship superior and who can be more superior than krishna the supreme personality of god he is the supreme absolute truth नित्य नित्याना चेतन चेतना सो कुंती हेज ऑल अलॉन्ग वेरी सिलेक्टेड वर्ड्स यूज दैट वी शेड लर्न दैट इज द इंजंक्शन ऑफ दिस उत्तम श्लोक कृष्ण जाना दैन नहीं मिल भगवती उत्तम श्लोक है भक्ति भगवती नैष्ठिक है द बेस्ट वर्ड एक्चुअली इफ यू लव समबडी आउट ऑफ लव you cannot use anything uh, means any word which is not very much appreciate uh, <clears throat> so and they are all applicable it is not like the logic kana chelen nam podulach one man has got a child who is blind but he has given the name podmolochan lotus eye not like that the selected words which kunti has used it is not improper they properly used 
That's why like here is one word used, Vaikuntha. Krishna's another name is Vaikuntha, or God's another name is Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha means Vigata Kuntha, Jasma. Therefore, spiritual world is called Vaikuntha. Uh, and the material world is Dukkhalaya Masasatam. It is not Vaikuntha. Uh, you cannot even walk without anxiety. And just like we are walking on the street and the legs slipped, so we should be very much careful. Even in walking, beginning from your morning walk, you are full of anxiety. But Vaikuntha uh, means no anxiety. No anxiety. That is spiritual law. We must understand what is Vaikuntha law and what is Jara law. So, here everywhere simply uh, danger. But if we take shelter of the Vaikuntha, Krishna, Samasita ji patapallabam plavam, uh, it is just like the boat for crossing over a furious, dangerous ocean. Uh, Krishna's lotus feet is compared with very sound, secure boat. Uh, and on boarding it, you can cross over the ocean of Nisan. Vavambudhi vatsapadam. Vavambudhi. Ambudhi means sea. And bhava means repetition of birth and death birth and death. Just like in the ocean you are struggling, uh, sometimes you are dr drowning and somebody helps you, uh, saves you from being drowned and again he throws you in the ocean, then again struggle. So our life in this material world is like that. We are uh, Mm. struggling from the very, very beginning of our life. We are simply struggling. Uh, we learn from Srimad Bhagavatam that after the sex between the man and the woman, the man injects the semina within the womb of the mother of the woman and it is emancipated first night and immediately forms a pea-like form. That pea-like form develops. Uh, so as soon as it is developed, of course, in the process of development, there is no consciousness. Uh, that's like deep sleeping. It is like that. But as soon as the body is little developed, uh, the, there are nine holes two nostrils, two ears, two eyes, uh, one navel, one genital, one rectum, these nine holes develop, then the consciousness comes back. Uh, and when the consciousness comes back, then he feels pains and pleasure. Because when the body is developed, the body is very delicate. So, he is forced to live within urine and stool and so many secretions. And there are always worms in the stool, in the urine, and they take advantage of the delicate body and they bite. So the baby, packed up, cannot move, cannot say anything, but feels pain, therefore moves. Uh, and the, the pregnant woman therefore feels that the child is moving at the age of seven months in the womb. Uh, so therefore the struggle begins from the womb. And uh, when it, the child comes out, again struggle. Uh, and he is lying on the bed, some bug is beating, 
he cannot express he is crying and the mother thinks that he is hungry uh, in this he wrongly understands cannot give relief him and he is going on crying 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 we have seen it we have everyone has got experience then as soon as he is grown up he is given responsibility for learning abcd or going to school he doesn't like no child likes at least i did not like to go to school so this is also another step then when he is grown up he is given more and more responsibility uh, examination uh, then married life then family maintenance in this way struggling 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 again death again enter into the umba mala again the same struggle so where is happiness therefore when krishna says dukkhalam asasatam this whole material world is a place for suffering only that is a fact uh, but murayang uh, being uh, enamored by maya uh, he does not know he forgets this life is a forgetfulness ignorance uh, the struggle is going on so therefore this word is used that you are struggling in this material world so much i mean beginning from your life uh, prahlad maharaj said sada samudvigna dhiyam asad graha asat ha uh, the spiritual world is called sat om tat sat uh, so uh, we should transfer ourselves to the spiritual world asato ma gama sad gama asato ma sad gama this is the basic injunction don't keep yourself in this asat asat means uh, bad asat means which will not exist that is called asat uh, asat graha so because we have accepted this asat a graha with very great eagerness that we shall become very happy we shall live here very happily therefore there is all but actually there is no happiness uh, suppose if you get some money uh, all of a sudden uh, actually this is also asat because when you did not get money you are anxious to get it and as soon as you get it how to preserve it shall i keep it in the bank Uh, because it is black market, and then there will be income tax. And then, will, then what I shall I do? Another angle, another angle. So, asad was to in any way you want to enjoy, it will give you always anxiety. And if you go to this asad was to, ah, uh, asato ma asad gama. If you go to asad, then that is boy kunta. that is called boy no more anxiety uh, this is therefore this very word is used boy kunth uh, mannang jahas boy kunth mohayan yo uh, maya this maya is not uh, illusion this maya is affection uh, when a mother loves smiles the child feels very pleasant ah uh, very much and the mother the child on the lap of the mother mother is seeing the face of the child and child is seeing the face of the mother both of them are very pleased and smile so maya that maya means affection ah uh, when krishna smiles he smiles with affection and the devotee becomes enamored becomes captivated simply by seeing krishna smiling this is the process so from the example of kunti devi if we want to understand krishna and if we want to be transferred to the boykunta atmosphere uh, 
then we should follow uh, the Krishna's. Mm, so uh, Krishna is very much pleased uh, if you worship Krishna in the proper way, Mahajana Jinaga, then he accepts. Bhaktiyama uh, Vijanati. And he, Krishna also says, Patram Pushpam Palam Toyam Jomi Bhaktiya Prajachati. That bhakti is the most important thing. Uh, Krishna is not interested with your food star. Uh, Krishna is interested with your bhakti. Therefore, this word is used. Jumi uh, bhaktya prajachat. Not that I am very rich man. Uh, I can offer Krishna uh, luchi puri halwa. He must take it. Uh, just like we get some palatable food star, we eat up to the neck. No. Krishna is Atmaram. Krishna has no hunger. Uh, even if he is hungry, uh, he can fulfill it himself. He doesn't require your help. But he accepts your food staff because you offer him with bhakti. That is the main thing. Just like you relish food staff when you are hungry. If you have got sufficient appetite, any kind of food staff will find it is very nice. But if you are offered very palatable food staff and you are not hungry, you have no appetite, use it. Similarly, you can Krishna offer very nice food staff, luchi, puri, halwa, and other things. But if you have no bhakti, then Krishna will not touch. Therefore, it is essential those who are initiated, they should prepare Krishna's food staff. Uh, the professional man, non-initiated person cannot prepare. Uh, because a bhakta prepares the food star with some desire that let me do it very nicely. Krishna will eat. Uh, that, uh, that is different thing from the professional man cooking. Uh, so Jimmy bhakta, the, the main thing is bhakti. Uh, all the prayers offered by Kunti Devi, full of bhakti. So we should learn from uh, Kunti Devi how to offer and then um, Krishna will be very much pleased and he will smile jahasa. It is not in the Shastra, but somebody, some Sami has told it. Yes, not Ramakrishna, Vivekananda. All right.